This is a smooth surface, polished surface, uh, BCS implant of 20 mm length. Okay, so there will be threads will be only the end. So usually I place this in the lower anterior mandible where cortical bone, bicortical bone is available. So that is uh, below the, uh, the root stumps. So that is uh, you will get around uh, between 20 to 25 mm also sometimes. So for this lady, so it's a uh, Around 25 mm is the length. I'm placing a 20 mm. That's more than enough. It will won't engage in the um, this one cortical bone. I'll show you one more thing. You can come here. For this girl, upper also I placed three implants. Okay. I'll show you the X-ray also. It's almost more than uh, one and a half years. I've placed all three compressive implants here. Good stability. No issues. She was using it from uh, one and a half years. Compressive implants also get engaged well in the nasal floor as well as wherever the cortical bone is there. It's nothing like you have to place only BCS. You can place compressive also. It all depends on the doctor's technique and his talent to place the implant. Okay. So these look at these implants. I've showed it in the oral cavity of the patient. These three are the compressive implants to well engaged in the nasal floor. You can have a look. So these implants, compressive implants also will get good engagement and afterwards will get good ASU integration also after ASU fixation. So you can place BCS as well as compressive implants. It all depends on the doctor who chooses which implant should be placed and it's uh, and his talent to place the implant is important rather than uh, any design. That is what I want to say.